Now, I may have a hard time getting through this. I might get mm -hmm. a little choked up, so you have to bear with me if I do. Okay. Music. Go for it. Music, please. This is called Kobe Napoleon. See, there you go again. You're starting already. Go. Get it out of the way. Tiki's standing right here. Go. He is? He's well, I can't to... rush through no, this. No, 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 no. He, he's, he's about to come over. Oh. Would you... Hold on. Do you want Tiki to hear it? Yeah, he can hear it. Well, he he was just accosted by a lady with a microphone. All right. Um, why don't you start? All right. Okay, he's giving an interview. Go ahead. Kobe, I watch you play and I get chills. For 14 years, you've given the Laker fans thrills. The way you play, so athletic and fluid, I sit there speechless, wondering just how you do it. I watch you move with your muscles rippling. Against the defender, your moves are crippling. <laughs> Good laughing. You are loved from L.A. to the Bahamas. You even had breakfast with fans named the Obamas. Some people say you're even better than magic. Oh, when you retire, that day will be so tragic. Someday you might be the greatest Laker of them all. But right now you still have to play a lot of ball. One day I saw you when you were a little boy in Rome. Who knew 20 years later, I'd watch you play and my mouth would begin to foam. Yeah, I admit it. I sit there and I'm mesmerized. And yet another poor defender is posterized. <laughs> yes, Kobe, I know I have so many boyfriends. Federer, you saying, Peter's and the Tiger, it seems the list never ends. Oh, and add Serena and Venus to that list, too. But don't worry, Kobe, nobody will ever come before you. And now as you pass the great Jerry West, maybe someday you will end up being the best. And while every team wishes that you were theirs, you'll always be better than that guy on the Cavaliers. <laughs> I enjoy life so much, Kobe, and you are the reason as you take us Laker fans through another championship season. People like Andrew Siciliano just don't understand the love we have for you in Lakerland. You see, you are a gift from the man above. People like Andrew don't understand the Laker love. Why is it about me? But you just keep on doing your thing. And so come June, you'll get your fifth championship ring. There it is. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Michael Thompson's Kobe Bryant love poem. Yes. Uh, oh, that was so, so touching. Oh, so hard to get to. So, so touching.